Hey guys, this is Madman Mars 2000 with your WWE Judgment Day 2009 pay-per-view results. First up, Umaga defeated CM Punk via pinfall. The finish saw CM Punk attempt to hit the GTS on Umaga. However, Umaga countered the GTS into a super kick, which sent CM Punk crashing down into the corner turnbuckle in a sit-down position. Umaga then hit his running splash in the corner, followed by the Simone Spike to pick up the pinfall victory. Backstage, Vicky Guerrero is watching the show. Chavo comes into her office and says that John Cena has officially been medically cleared to wrestle tonight. Vicky tells the Big Show that the match is officially on now. Show tells Vicky that she has already lost Triple H and tonight she is about to lose John Cena. Vicky said if Cena falls, someone else will rise up. Edge enters the room. He tells the Big Show he wants to speak to his wife. The Big Show and Chavo leave the room and the segment ends. ECW Championship match, Christian defeated Jack Swagger via pinfall to retain the ECW Championship. Finish saw Christian roll up Jack Swagger and grab a handful of his tights to pick up the pinfall victory and retain the ECW Championship. Backstage, Edge left Vicky's office. Chavo was trying to listen through the door. Chavo and Edge get into an argument. Edge excuses himself to prepare for his uh, title match. John Morrison defeated Sheldon Benjamin via pinfall. The finish saw John Morrison hit the Starship Pain on Benjamin to pick up the pinfall victory. And if you don't know what the Starship Pain is, guys, it's the new official name for John Morrison's split-legged corkscrew moonsault. And up next is a tie, your basic time filler segment. The Miz comes to the ring to cut a promo. He said that this isn't the first time... He's going to follow Morrison, who he actually referred to as Marty Jannetty at first when he acknowledged Morrison's victory. Miss said he can't face John Cena tonight, so he's going to challenge someone else. He said Cena is a loser just like the Chicago Cubs. They were in Chicago, obviously, for the pay-per-view, so... He calls out the Cubs outfielder, Alfonso Soriano, who is sitting ringside. He told Soriano he can't see a world... Series ring playing for the Chicago Cubs. The Miz told Soriano he can either win a World Series or take Cena's place tonight. Miz pretends that the Cubs manager called and said that the Alfonso's manager would prefer him getting his yearly injury on the field and not in the ring. The Miz said he is now victorious and is now 4 0. Out comes Santino Morella. Santino said he can't let the Miz continue to talk like this. Morella said Soriano is a fellow Italian. Miz asks Santino what he wants. Morella calls the Miz the Fizz <clears throat> and said that the WWE superstars are starting to resemble animals. He said Vicky Guerrero looks like a pig, Vladimir Kozlov looks like Sam the Eagle, and the Miz looks like a jackass. The Miz said he has no problem taking out Santino right now. Santino said he hopes he brought a metal detector because he has his guns with him. Takes off his shirt and flexes. Miz decks him and Santino goes down. They hit a series of punches on each other with the fans cheering every time Santino got in the upper hand and the fans boom whenever Miz got in the upper hand. Miz eventually takes out Santino with a big DDT, mouthing that he is now 4 0. Travel Girl then runs down and takes out Santino with a frog splash as he is pissed off that Santino called his aunt a pig. Backstage, Josh Matthews interviewed Chris Jericho. He said he has been robbed of a chance for the world title twice. Y2J Jericho said that Theodore Long is biased towards Rey Mysterio. Jericho guaranteed that there will be no 619 tonight. He said he'll win the IC Championship title. Intercontinental Championship match. Rey Mysterio defeated Chris Jericho via pinfall to retain the Intercontinental Championship. The finish saw Rey Mysterio hit the 619 in a springboard body splash on Jericho to pick up the pinfall victory and retain the IC Championship. WWE Championship match. Batista defeated Randy Orton via DQ, so Randy Orton retains the WWE Championship. The finish saw Randy Orton intentionally get himself disqualified by slapping the referee in the face, so he retains the WWE Championship. After the match, Legacy ran down and... Legacy and Orton then put a three-on-one beatdown on Batista until Ric Flair came out to make the save. Batista hit uh, Batista bomb on Orton and Ric Flair chopped Cody Rhodes out of the ring. Flair hugged Batista and raised his hand as the two celebrated in the ring. 
John Cena defeated The Big Show via pinfall. The finish saw John Cena counter The Big Show's knockout punch into the attitude adjustment to pick up the pinfall victory. And up next, the main event of WWE Judgment Day 2009, the World Heavyweight Championship match. Edge defeated Jeff Hardy via pinfall to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. At one point in the match, Matt Hardy interfered and cracked his brother over the head using his cast, which went unseen by the referee. The finish saw Jeff Hardy attempt to hit the Swanton Bomb on a fallen edge. However, Jeff could not keep his balance on the top rope as he was still a bit groggy from the cast shot. Edge then recovered and climbed to the top rope. He hit an off-the-top rope execution on Jeff Hardy to pick up the pinfall victory and retain the World Heavyweight Championship. After the match, Edge heads up the ramp with the World Heavyweight Championship draped over his shoulder. He holds the title up in celebration to close the show. Those were your WWE Judgment Day 2009 pay-per-view results. I'm Madman Mars 2000.